welcome back to the channel y'all about an hour and a half ago I started making this video but it was so hot in this warehouse I grabbed my uh, fall tote bag that I made let me grab it I made this last year from fabric from Hobby Lobby I grabbed this tote bag and I put all of these supplies including the sign in this one big tote bag and I was about to do everything at home because it was just too hot and yesterday I had been looking for uh, offices um, that I could move everything into so I could have air and heat. I cannot do any more Texas summers in this warehouse without AC. I just can't do it. So I was looking to move. I found a place but it was half the size for about double the money. Uh, well. It was $11.95 for 600 square foot. This is 1,200 square foot with its own bathroom plus a loft for $7.50. And I'm like, I want air. I want it desperately. And if the price was better, I would have jumped all over it. But talking to the guy, uh, my mom and sister, you know, since they got stuff here, they pay a portion. And they were like, oh yeah, I can do it for like a uh, thousand. And I was like, okay, thinking they were going to help pay any extra. And it's like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, 1100 is fine. Yeah, do that. I'm like, 11 I was like, that's really out of the price range. Yeah, go ahead and get it. But I'm not paying extra. I'm like, what? <laughs> wait a minute. I was like, no, but with utilities, it's about nine. I wanted to stay around that. I didn't mind it being... You know, half the size, I would just have to consolidate, but it had a big closet where I would be able to pack up uh, inventory that I'm not using and all that stuff. So, that would have been fine. The main thing was the price. And I hate moving. So, <laughs> I went to Home Depot and I got a swamp cooler. One that can, like, cool up to, like, 950 square feet. So, it's right over there. If y'all hear it, Sorry, but I don't want to have a heat stroke on camera, so I got a swamp cooler right over there. Just filled it up with water. It's one of the 14 and a half gallon, the 14 gallon ones. Nice and cool. Lord, it's nice and cool now. <laughs> I got it pointed straight at me. So if y'all can hear it, I'm gonna try to speak up and after this video, I'm, when I'm editing, I'll be able to tell what the sound is like for the uh, swamp cooler. I turned it to low but I got all the fans on, it's hot, and I've been wanting to come down here and make a wreath. But it is August the 1st, so I am going to start making my fall collection. So what I decided to make, let me put up this tote. Y'all, I didn't think all this stuff would go. This tote is, let's see how. It's like 19 inches wide. No, it's 19 inches tall. Like from that way. And the width is about 18 inches. So it's a 19 by 18. I got like three, four or six pockets in here. One, two, three, four. I got four pockets and it comes with a little snap metallic snap so this will be my tote bag that I'll be using for fall but I am going to be making a paint stir stick wreath or door swag I call them all wreaths but a lot of people know that's a door swag or it's a centerpiece but this is going to be a door swag centerpiece I say it's not going to be a centerpiece because if you were to lay it down It'll look like this, you know, with all the fluff on top and, you know, but I'm going to make a centerpiece. I've been dying to make a fall centerpiece, but this is the sign. This is the sign I'm using. It says home, but it's uh, with the different colored pumpkins and it has the black litter and all that. Plus, I wanted to use the orange uh, glittery mesh or shiny mesh. 
guess they say metallic streaks. Yeah, poly pro mesh. I'm using this one. These are the same ones. I just thought I might not have enough. And then I wanted to use the black and white. So basically the colors that are in the sign, I got the shiny black, the top pumpkin is white, and then I got orange. And then also there's yellow sunflowers on the sign. So I got pumpkins, the orange, black and white ribbon, and then the, the sunflower ribbon, and then the solid orange ribbon that almost stabbed the crap out of me last time. But I'm gonna be more careful this time. <laughs> and I also, I may or may not use these little scattered pumpkins and these little sunflowers. I think I'm gonna use the sunflowers though. And I got my Gorilla Hot Glue Gun. Uh, well, my Gorilla Hot Glue Sticks, my glue guns, uh, Chanel stems, pipe cleaners, my wire cutters. Um, I, I use the wire cutters to cut uh, Chanel stems and zip ties. And I got my little trusty rock that I use to weigh down my uh, my mesh when I'm cutting it. So, y'all, the first thing I'm going to do is move all of this out of the way, and I'm going to prep my stick. So, what I do is get my trusty pencil out so I don't have to keep measuring and I just about two inches from the bottom and then like four inches after that I'm just putting a little more so I know where to put my zip tie my Chanel stems not zip tie Chanel stem I marked all that on my paint stick so two inches from the bottom and then four inches, four inches, four inches, four inches. And at the top, I'm gonna add a hanger, and then I'm gonna have a Chanel stem to the left, right, and top. So let me go ahead and prep my Chanel stems on my paint stir stick here. And I will be right back. Gotta buy a new one. So let's go ahead and cut this 22 inches. And I'm hoping it can last 
this project. It's not looking, it's not looking good, y'all. So, 
I'm going to cut these 10 inches and dovetail. So I'm going to need eight of each one of these. Let me go ahead and cut up all my ribbon and I'll be right back. black and white I bundled that side um, the black and white uh, cruffles on one side and then the solid orange cruffles on the other side and then the top and the bottom so I just used seven every other one but this is what it's looking like so far and when I do my ribbon bundles I mix them up like I rotate them so Next, I'm going to add my sign about seven inches from the bottom and about six inches from the top is where I put my Chanel stems on the back of my board, my, uh, my sign here. It was too high up on the front, well at the top and too, uh, too low at the bottom. So I adjusted that. I'm gonna give that a couple minutes to dry and then I'm going to attach it. like to try to have the fake one covered up by a real one so let 
we go ahead and hot glue these sunflowers. And I always put the, pull the little back off in case it comes off. It's hanging there. I don't want the whole thing to come, you know, detach. So cover up the little fake sunflowers. And then I'm going to take a few of these fake pumpkins and add them to the center. So, we go ahead and put some of these pumpkins in the center. here but after looking at this and I don't really think it needs a bow and I don't want to try to attach it uh, with the hot glue or uh, extending my Chanel stems but I think this is perfect the way it is so I'm gonna save that bow for another project and this right here is complete so let me go ahead and put it on the wall to give y'all a better view. Okay, y'all, and here it is. Let me give you a close-up. Now, this is a very simple fall wreath. Uh, as y'all can see down there, I have tons of floral, and I will be making some floral fall wreaths very soon in the upcoming video so make sure you subscribe so if y'all have any comments or questions drop them below please subscribe and turn on that notification bell i know shameless plug and i'll talk to you later bye